Hello to my friends at the Wheels School. My name is Amir Karangi. I'm the founder and publisher of The Real Deal, the largest real estate news outlet in the world, I'm happy to say. And I'm very happy to be speaking with you guys today. I wanna to thank Molly and the rest of the team at uh, Wheels for allowing this opportunity for me. I came to know Wheels um, about a year and a half ago when I became interested in sponsoring a public school here in the city. I am a product of public schools. I love public schools. I love what the public schools produce and I wanted to support one in the, in the city. And uh, we thought we'd start with your basketball program because I like basketball. I like going to basketball games and I thought it would be fun to uh, help out the basketball team in whatever small way we could. And we came to, I came to some of the games and it was just absolutely amazing to see the energy at these games and the interaction of the faculty and the students. It, it was just really great to see it. And it, it, it made me feel young and that's a great feeling. Uh, you'll understand what I mean by that someday. Um, and I wanted to do more and I, I, I came to, I, I believe you guys made it to the semifinals and I was so proud of the team and I was, I felt so lucky that I, this is the school that I picked and it go, they go to the semifinals. I was very proud of the basketball team. I know some of you guys are in this senior class and I wish you guys all a great luck. I know right now we are all facing a difficult time. The pandemic is not easy for anybody. Uh, the good thing about it is that we're all in it together, right? The, it does not discriminate one way or another. We are all into this thing together. And when we face challenges like this, um, it's so important to face them with optimism and with positivity and to look at every challenge, this and other ones after this, um, with, with uh, looking for opportunities in them. When you face difficult times, when you face these challenges, to address them, acknowledge them, and look for the opportunities in them. Look for the silver lining, because that's the only way to deal with these things, right? You face these challenges, you have to look for the opportunities in them. You have to look at them with positivity and optimism, because it increases your odds of success. It increases your odds of happiness. There's a great saying by Wayne Gretzky that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And there's a lot of truth to that. If you are facing a challenge and you, have, you look at it with a negative attitude and you say, I'm gonna walk away from this because it's tough, it's uh, difficult and I don't wanna deal with it, your chances of success of facing that challenge become zero. If you face it with optimism and say, I'm gonna deal with this one way or another, your chances keep increasing. Because in life, there's a one in four chance that you, you know, you're, you're going to overcome that challenge or that obstacle. So immediately you, you give yourself a 25% increase to become successful versus a 0% chance of becoming successful. You know, I was not, uh, I was not a very good student in high school, and, uh, but I, was, I did want to get a degree from college. So I went to a junior college for the first two years to sort of build up my academic muscles. And uh, then I went to a four-year college uh, to get a degree. And I thought that, you know, that I wanted to just get a degree and just be done with it and say that I have a four-year degree. And what I didn't realize that when I went to college, I realized that I was interested in so many things uh, that I didn't know about, that uh, college really opened up my eyes to, and I was always grateful for that. And um, you know, you, sometimes in life, you feel like you're so certain about something and uh, you're persuaded otherwise. And I gotta tell you, it's so liberating when you find out that your mind can be changed about things and you just have to be open-minded. But it is, it's a beautiful feeling to have your mind, something that you're so certain about uh, and have your mind changed about it. Um, you know, something with these um, sort of difficult times, I know they're very hard. I know most of you guys are seniors and you wanted to spend this time with your friends and other students in school. But I feel like these difficult times are the chapters in our lives that really define us. How we face them, how we address them, we look back on those things and how we dealt with them is who we are, right? And if we dealt with them with positivity, 
with a great attitude, by looking for opportunities during hard times, by facing these challenges and saying, yes, I can deal with this. Look, you're not gonna overcome every obstacle, but you do increase your odds as you go on and you, you address it. The more you try to address a challenge, the more you increase your odds of success. So it's important to face these challenges with, uh, with depth and integrity and uh, with positivity and resilience. So those are, uh, I, I don't want to sound like a cliche, but I think these are important things to keep in mind. It's, uh, it's not easy. You constantly have to remind yourself that I'm going to deal with this with, with enthusiasm and with optimism. So you do have to do that and uh, help yourself. Anyways, I want to wish you guys all great luck. You're young. You can't do anything wrong. Just, uh, just uh, try new things. Stay positive. <laughs> We all know the right decision and the wrong decision. Try, try your best to make as more right decisions than wrong decisions. And uh, I have no doubt that uh, you guys will all do great. Uh, thank you so much. Be good, good luck. Welcome to the rest of your lives. Bye everyone.